No way. Are you serious? This is about to get crazy if this pace keeps up. I paid just over $55 for this vintage lot of sports cards from Shop Goodwill because I saw a vintage Hall of Fame rookie card buried in one of the listing pictures. Now let's see how I did. What is up everyone? I hope you all are doing well today. In today's unboxing, we'll be going through this lot of sports cards that I purchased from Shop Goodwill for just over $55. I don't know if y'all can see what I could see whenever I pulled this bag out, but I'm pretty sure I just saw one of my favorite baseball players of all time's rookie cards. And honestly, one of the most collected players, even still to this day. Before we get into this unboxing, I did want to mention that I purchased this lot of sports cards because I could see an Eddie Murray rookie card on the listing picture. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get straight into this unboxing. I got to be very careful getting these out, especially right here. But look at this. I think it's it. And it is. What a thing of beauty. In a little sandwich bag and actually in decent shape too. One of the most sought after rookie cards of all time, Ricky Henderson. And the corners aren't sharp by any means, but overall in really good shape considering how they shipped this lot to me. But wow, what a way to start out this unboxing. We just paid for this entire lot with this card right here. I am gonna go ahead and get this one sleeved up and in, in a top loader. Not quite the same as the Ricky Henderson rookie card, but this Pete Rose from 1978 should be resellable as well. But since I already pulled that Ricky Henderson rookie card, I feel like it's only right for me to set this one aside for the first overall giveaway in today's video. Once I come across a few more cards to add to that first overall giveaway, we'll announce it at that point. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And then I don't know if y'all saw this, but here's an Eddie Murray 1980 card. Let's go ahead and do this as the first Easter egg in today's video. If you're new to the channel, how Easter eggs work, whenever I come across a card that I want to do as a giveaway, I'll announce that it's an Easter egg, and the first person to comment that card in the comment section below will win that card, and I will send it out to you via plain white envelope. So good luck on this first Easter egg. There are a ton of these little sandwich bags in here. No way. Are you serious? This is about to get crazy if, if this pace keeps up. We're on pace to have the craziest unboxing in my channel's history. I know y'all can probably see it behind this Reggie Jackson. Oh, there's, uh, of course, a Nolan Ryan 1980 card. And then another Ricky Henderson rookie card. This one does have a little crease right there on the card. And then that corner is a little banged up, but still, wow. What a start. Absolutely amazing. That is so cool. I didn't mean to skip over these two legends, but here's a Reggie Jackson. And then this Nolan Ryan, which is actually in pretty good shape as well. This Nolan Ryan definitely should be resellable. I'm not sure if y'all can see this Harold Baines rookie card, but pretty nice Harold Baines rookie card. Let's go ahead and set that aside with that Pete Rose for that first overall giveaway. Al Oliver. There's a Tom Citriano. From 1967, Bob Montgomery, Tony Cloninger, pretty nice Sandy Alomar, Triple Threat, Schmidt, Pete Rose, Bill Lambeer, rookie card, nice. Who is that? Lakeish Johnson, Lionel Hollins, really good player. Ooh, a George Gervin. Super action. Nice. Let's go ahead and set that aside for that first overall giveaway. And then right behind it's an Artist Gilmore, I believe. Right? Yep. Artist Gilmore. Super action. There's a King Griffey Senior card. There's a Fernando Valenzuela Dodgers Future Stars card. There we go. Oh, nice. Second year, Ricky Henderson. That one's in pretty good shape. Nice. Then a Pete Rose right behind it from 1983, right? Yep, 1983. Oh, there we go. Larry Legend. Larry Bird, the man himself. On the team leader Celtics card. Nice. That would be awesome if that second year 
Larry Bird card would be in here. Nate Archibald. I saw the Celtics right there. I thought it may be that one, but we will take that. We're going to have another big card coming up in this stack that I just spoiled for myself grabbing these out. Where is it? Huh. Maybe it's after these. Probably the biggest basketball card we've pulled today. There's Mike Schmidt. There it is. It's not in great shape, I will say, but still, anytime getting a Kareem card, I will take that all day long. Oh, no way! Let's go! Oh, a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. Oh, oh. Wow, I was not expecting that. That's amazing, and that's actually in really good shape, too. Let's get that one sleeved up and in a top loader. What an unboxing. This one was crazy. Bucky Dent. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Look at that. This was the reason that I purchased this lot. It was because of this Eddie Murray rookie card that was buried in this lot of cards in one of the listing pictures. Beautiful find right there. Go ahead and get that one sleeved up and in a top loader. Rupert Jones, Gaylord Perry. Bucky Dent. Oh, no way. Are you serious? This is unreal. Another Ryan Sandberg rookie card. <laughs> what in the world? This is absolutely crazy. I'm not sure if this will wind up being my most valuable unboxing of all time, but this may be one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Great hit right there, once again. Jack Morris, nice. Tim Raines, Expos Future Stars card. Let's go ahead and add that to that first overall giveaway. I was hoping to add a football card to it, but we haven't had quite as many football cards as I was expecting. And so let's go ahead and announce that after we get done with this stack. Cedric Maxwell. Actually, before we announce that, let's announce these Easter eggs. Dennis Eckersley, Steve Carlton, Jack Clark, Harold Carmichael. All right, so here are the four cards for this first overall giveaway right here. So how to enter to win one of these four cards. First, like this video. Second, subscribe to my channel. And third, comment below. Since we've pulled some crazy iconic rookie cards so far, I want to hear from you. What is the most iconic rookie card of all time of any sports card? I feel like there are a ton of good answers for this. But honestly, I've got to go with King Griffey Jr.'s Upper Deck Rookie Card. But very curious to hear what rookie card you think is the most iconic in all of sports cards. And good luck on this first overall giveaway. And let's finish off this unboxing. Jim Rice. Oh, nice. Let's go. I wasn't even thinking of Wade Boggs. Rookie Card. Another massive hit in here. I don't know if the centering is good enough to send that off for grading. But that one is in really good shape. This has been quite the unboxing. There's Yastrzemski. Oh, nice, Nolan Ryan. You know what, let's add this Nolan Ryan 1981 card to that last overall giveaway. Oh, let's go. Tony Gwynn, rookie card in great shape. Great hit right there. This has been an all-time unboxing. Let's announce the next three Easter eggs. This Johnny Moore, Bobby Bonds, and then Lester Hayes. I do not want to be too greedy, but boy, would I love one of the second-year Larry Birds or a Magic Johnson would be nice. Oh, <laughs> unreal timing. There is a Magic Johnson right there. Absolutely beautiful. And then look what's right behind it, a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That is awesome. This is the Goodwill purchase that just keeps on giving. Sidney Moncrief, Jamal Wilkes. Another awesome stack right there. There's Moses Malone right there, Rockets team leaders card. Let's add that to that last overall giveaway. 
Ooh, we've got more chances at a Larry Bird. The Larry Bird just sells really well in good shape. Obviously, I don't think I would get a good enough one to grade and get a nine or so, but still the raw cards, I think, go for like 70 to like 90 bucks. Mike Dunleavy. There's Jim Rice, Pete Rose. There we go, and that is it. Wow, what an unboxing. That was absolutely insane, and that was a lot of fun. Let me announce these Easter eggs, and then we'll announce that last overall giveaway and finish up the video. The next Easter eggs are this Lou Whitaker for Jenkins, this Phillies Future Stars from 1981, and then this Steve Carlton. All right, here are the three cards for this last overall giveaway. How to enter to win one of these three cards. I have a number written down between one and 10. And the first three people to correctly guess that number in the comment section below will win one of these three cards. Good luck on this last overall giveaway. And as always, I really do appreciate you all watching my videos. It truly does mean a lot to me. And I've had a lot of people reach out lately and say they've been sharing my videos. That truly is amazing. And I really do appreciate that. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time. Peace.